Hello. Hello. Um, could you share your name? Uh, yes. My name is Hugo. Hugo Arbindi And, um, yeah. How old are you? I am 12 years old. Okay. Where are you studying? Well, I study at uh, Humla Hoy School. Well, I used to study at SAS. Now I study at it. As, uh, Humla Hoy. Okay, now we have two schools that you know, isn't yeah. it? Okay. And what is this you have been doing? Oh, uh, this is a painting of an axolotl. Okay, axolotl. What is an axolotl? An axolotl is an aquatic creature which lives somewhere in the water, very hot places. And the thing is, is that the axolotls are very cute and nice creatures and they love to swim around in the water a lot. So mm -hmm. they have lots of brothers. They come in different variants like um, cyan, brown, gold, and even pink. So yeah, they're actually descendants of uh, some white sharks, I think. Okay. What made you paint or think of axolotl as a subject to paint? Well, well, the axolotls are very really like two creatures and they're almost at the brink of extinction. And mm -hmm. they're also one of my favorite animals. Mm -hmm. So normal people would think that why would you love axolotls? Mm -hmm. Because I find them as a unique creature, you know, very unique. I, I wish it was like a legendary creature, like a dragon, a lobster monster, a bigfoot. I wish it was like that and it would be more rare and I would be more interested. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, yeah, I kind of love the x level and I wish I could see one in real life. Mm -hmm. But I just hope it won't bite me. Because <laughs> axolotls are very good at biting and, you know, they only eat fish. Okay. Good. experience painting it was a good experience i loved it and it was amazing it was good and i talked a lot about the creature and yeah a lot of details about it so mm -hmm. good um have you done oil painting before coming to this class here i have done it before but it was just some pictures. So how was this experience different learning here? Well, so these are the teachers we meet. Thank you. And uh, yeah, we chatted a lot and they, it gives like more innovation and more friendly kind of thing. Thank you. How 
many layers do you think we had to go over this? Uh, about five to six layers. Mm, to get to this shape, isn't yes. it? First, yeah. we had to paint the entire picture in black, mm -hmm. and we also had to do the side. Mm -hmm. And uh, then after that, we had to start off with the axolotl's body. Mm -hmm. We did a little math. math thing, we uh, did golden ratio, yes. Then once we scaled with axolotl where it should be, mm -hmm. we then after that started drawing a little section, which mm -hmm. was the first part. Mm -hmm. Then we started with the tail, and the tail was pretty mature, and uh, yeah, I liked it. Okay. Then after that, we continued with this area. This is a branch mm. of where it's going to be swimming, like mm. in a very comfy place. Yeah. And it was pretty nice and amazing. Then we started to like, where before it was like this, we had to take it, like picture it like with like this, the hair and the legs. Mm. It was just like a tadpole. Mm, yeah. And then after that, my teacher and I discussed about the legs, where it should be, because first start at the ground, then go to the top. Mm. So we started on the legs, but we didn't realize what minor issue. The leg, I wanted it to be at least here, because the mm. leg was pretty, like I had imagined how it would be, like, like a little tiny piece of leg right there. <laughs> And then after that, I wanted to scale at least this amount. But mm. when we did the third part, well, the third part was this. I wanted to picture a little bit of pebbles and where, you know, mm. a little give heavy feeling. So I did a lot and it was called the pebble game. I had to draw hundreds of hundreds of pebbles. Mm. I even did on the side yeah. of it. And uh, yeah. I wanted to picture a bunch of moss right over here at the axe on the scale because naturally, you know, it would be naturally made underwater and a lot of moss stuff. So mm. I wanted the moss to be at least here, to be more like a rock covered in moss. And then we started the details of the branch, which was the fourth layer, I think. Mm -hmm. We didn't keep it on track. <laughs> then after that, we started to realize that the axolotl did not have a particular shape that I wanted. So in order to do that, we covered this area in black. Mm. And then I wanted to picture it very nice. And I told my teacher that I wanted to draw the hair. Until then, I pictured a very sensible and crazy idea. I wanted the head, hair to be at least here, somewhere right here next to the light. Mm. I, can, I think I can still see the um, scaling that we did mm. one batch ago. So, yeah. Good.